Welcome to Creating a Template with an Editable Region in Dreamweaver Creative Cloud 2017. I'm going to use this example page, an example page that's probably busier than a home page that you would want to create, but it's great for the example that I'm going to give today in how to create a template. First of all, of course, we've confirmed that we are connected to our root folder in Dreamweaver by going to site, manage site, and that we've made sure that our path is no deeper than our root folder. Once that's confirmed, we're ready to begin. Let's open our index.html page. This is the page we're going to use to create a template. Let's go to File, Save as Template. We'll give this template a meaningful name, no spaces. I'm going to call it Project Demo. I'm going to use Camelback Case to make it easier to read. Once I've given my template a meaningful name, I'm going to click the Save button. And then, when prompted, I'll click Yes to update links. Congratulations! You've just created a template. That was easy, wasn't it? Okay, now the next step, we're going to create an editable region within this template. I found that it works better if we include the entire section that we want to have as our editable region. For example, rather than selecting inside the main element, I'm going to include the main opening and closing tag. I've noticed some erratic behavior in Dreamweaver 2017 if I do otherwise. So I'm selecting from the main opening tag all the way down to the main closing tag. Now I'm going to the top Dreamweaver menu. I'm clicking on Insert from the drop-down box. I'm going to scroll down to Template and I'm going to choose Editable Region. I'm going to give my Editable Region a meaningful name, again with no spaces. I'm going to call this Main Content, again with a camelback. That's when I include an uppercase letter within the word so that it's easier to read. Once I've given my Editable Region a meaningful name, I'm going to click OK. Now you'll notice I need to save this project, so I'm going to go to File and then Save. I'll check to make sure that it's in its place, and we know that Dreamweaver automatically creates a template folder at the root folder, and we want to make sure that we leave it in place. You can see there are two templates here. One of them is the project demo template that we just created. In this lesson, we've used an index.html page to create a template file. We've added an editable region, we've saved, and we've confirmed that it's placed correctly in the templates folder at the root of our site. 